guys and welcome to The Batch Lady where today I am showing you how to make 10 chicken meals in one hour. Yes, just one hour and it is possible. Now, I'm not allowed to fluff or chat or do anything on this video because it's going to take so much time. So just to let you know how it's going to be edited down, I can't put an hour's video out on social media, so instead I'm going to edit it down to 20 minutes. So you're going to see lots of me going really fast as I fast forward the video through, but it is actually only taking an hour. So I'm just going to pan around and let you see all my ingredients laid out. And these ingredients have been done so that I've laid them out per the recipe. And the recipes that we are making today are chicken balti, chicken enchiladas, bride chicken, mozzarella and tomato Hasselback chicken, and I'm reading them from here because I've got all my recipes here, hunter's chicken, um, and we are making two of each, okay? So we're doubling up. So if you've been following me on The Batch Lady, you'll know we make fast, simple homemade meals that you can make in advance. So if you've ever followed me, you'll know that I always double the recipe. If you've got used to doubling the recipe, then you can double the recipe and make lots of other things. And you end up with 10 meals. It's fantastic. So what you want to do, just like if you've ever watched my other 10 meals in one hour, you want to print off all your recipes from www.batchlady.com. So you also then want to go on to my website and you want to print off the one that just said 10 chicken meals in one hour. It goes along with this video at the top and it gives you a, a, a block by block of how to um, take out bits of the recipes at each time to do. It sounds very complicated. I'm a simple person. It's very simple. Right, so we've got chicken, lots of chicken. You're not going to see the quantities, okay? You're just, because you can watch all of these individually as individual recipes. Today I'm just showing you the method of how to use them all at once. So we are going to start off by getting our chicken ready for our bride's chicken. So I have with me here a piece of, um, I've got a tin, a tray with some um, tin foil on it. So you'll notice because we're using chicken, we have to keep washing our hands. So I've touched the chicken with this hand and I'm just going to fold this over. You're going to fold over this chicken and it's going to go in the top of your oven because really the method is all about as things are cooking and you've got some extra time, you can start to use that extra time to put some other meals together. So this is our first chicken going in. It's going to be shredded chicken for our rice chicken. And um, you're going to see that throughout of it, throughout it, I've got all my bins ready so they can just go in and be recycled. Now, I need to put a pot on the top of the oven. It's got some olive oil in it. And we are going to add some um, frozen onions and some chicken to it, okay? So just while that's, um, just while that's starting to get hot, we're going to cut our chicken. And we so, Basically, my pan is now hot. You're going to take your packet of um, ready-made diced onions, and I've weighed this out for exactly how many I need. I know I need the whole packet. I'm going to have to chat loudly now, but I know I need the whole packet to, um, to do the fact that this is going to be done for the curry and the enchiladas, okay? So what we've got is our chicken already in the oven. It's going to be for our bread chicken because that gets shredded, so it's better up and cooked and the rest in one big pot. So, my onions are in, we're just going to pour in the chicken. And usually this is the time that you have standing about that you're just stirring a pot. Where instead, let me just get rid of this and I'll clean up and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do next. We are going to make hunter chicken. Now I put this recipe out last week so it's on there. If anybody wants to go and watch it, you'll get it on my website. So we're going to need some barbecue sauce and because I've got it all lined up, I know what's coming next. Some cheese. I've already written out my instructions. So it says hunter's chicken served with baked potato in a salad. It's um, the date that it's made and exactly how to cook it, which is oven bake it for 20 minutes, add the cheese, then add the sauce and it takes 10 more minutes, okay? We're going to put four chicken breasts on each one. And as we lift the chicken breast, we're just going to take a piece of smoked bacon and wrap it around and lay it in the middle of the foil. Okay, so I've doubled the amount of chicken that I was doing, which was getting the chicken breast and wrapping it in the bacon. And I now have two little parcels. And we can just fold these parcels up, okay? So I've washed my hands already, just as I was finishing up there. 
So we can fold them up and we can get our big bag of Hunter's Chicken for the Hunter's Chicken and we can put them the foil parcel inside. When you go to take that out, of course, it's just going straight on a tray. And we're going to do the same with the next one. You then get your little other bags and you put them in separately. So we've got some bags for some cheese. I just, because I'm making 10 meals in an hour, I'm using some pre-grated cheese, okay? We're going to put the barbecue sauce in another bag or you can choose to leave it in the bottle as long as you remember that you've got it. I like to put it all in one bag and then I know the full meal is there, that's it. I don't have to think about it. Down, add the bag of cheese in and put it in. Now the thing is, we would have just been stirring this pot anyway, okay? We'll give it another quick stir. Okay, you just need to stir it to make sure that you are browning all of that chicken. So we've got our um, our bag with our um, chicken and bacon in. We're going to add our um, our sauce and our cheese, and there is one family meal done. Absolutely complete. Ready to go in the freezer. Lay it flat. It's good to go. Let's put the barbecue sauce in the next one and do exactly the same. And while you've been stirring a pot, you've just made two family meals. Two whole night's dinners, guys. Two whole night's dinners. And we're about to make another two because that pot's going to take 15 minutes and these only took five minutes each. Okay, guys, so I am all set up, ready to go for my next one. What I want to do is just get rid of the ones I've already made. So I have done my Hunter's Chicken so I can get rid of the recipe. This next one is going to be mozzarella and tomato Hasselback chicken. So I get the recipe out and I've got all the ingredients ready in front of me, which are on my counter and just brought over. So it's about how organized you are as you do it so you don't feel harassed at all, okay? Much like the last one, we're just going to get two parcels and we're going to fill them as we go, okay? One at a time so that I can show you this because what you want to do is hassle back your chicken, okay? So you can watch this in my other film that you're basically slicing it down. It's going to look like that. And then you're going to start to put lots of other yummy ingredients in it, okay? Now, we're then going to get our mozzarella. Now again, I'm okay if you think about it. I don't need to wash my hands because I'm using all of this mozzarella in raw chicken as well as the tomatoes. Okay, so I'm going to slice my mozzarella. I have used a different knife, but I'm going to slice my mozzarella. I'm going to slice my tomatoes. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slice of mozzarella, a slice of tomato, a slice of mozzarella, a slice of tomato, work my way along, grab some basil leaves, add the basil leaves in, and you're going to end up with mozzarella chicken. Can you see that? There you go, do you see that? Now it's gonna be delicious, cooked with, um, you can either put a sauce over it, like a tomato sauce out of a jar, or you can make one yourself, or you can, um, or you can just serve it like that because all the mozzarella is going to be really gooey and it's lovely served with baked potato in a salad. Okay, so here goes. I have got, I've made one of them. I've got eight more to do. Four for one parcel, four for the next. Here goes. Okay, chicken mozzarella. It says serves with new potatoes. Um, oven baked for 30 to 40 minutes. It's already written in the bag. All the things that you can do to get organized in advance is writing stuff in the bag. You don't want any UFOs, unidentified frozen ob objects. You want to seal these up and they're just going flat in your freezer, ready to go, okay? And so far, all our chicken is cooking for every dish that we need to cook chicken for. Um, our onions are in as well. And we have finished our two raw recipes, which are the mozzarella chicken, which we're just sealing up just now, two of them, and 200 chicken, two mozzarella chicken, all for four people. So in the space of the time of me coming back and forth, stirring this pan, which I have done when we've been fast forwarding, so don't worry about that, we have managed to make four meals that are raw, that are ready to go in the freezer. Now our chicken is cooked, and we're going to start making the next um, three meals that we've got to make. Time when I've been fast forwarding, you see it going really fast, but I'm actually going back and forth into that hot soapy water. I've washed everything down and I've washed my knife just in case. I've got really clean hands just now. Okay, so let's go and set up everything we need from over here to make our next 
two other tomatoes. Okay guys, so just to quickly recap, we've done our mozzarella chicken, we've done our barbecue chicken, well, all the other chicken was cooking. Okay, so we've done four meals and they're out of the way. We've got still our, um, our chicken on the tray, which is all covered in foil. That's gonna be really soft and juicy. That can stay in for about five more minutes. Okay, and we've got our chicken on the top of the hob that's been boiling away and is pretty much done. So, what we want to do is half the amount of chicken that's on the hob, okay? Because we're doing um, two family meals of curry. So, two for four people. So, for each family meal, I need three chicken breasts, okay? I know that half a cup, if you use my cups like this, half a cup is a chicken breast, okay? So, I've basically half of what's in that pan, okay? So half of it is still boiling away here and that's going to be used for the curry. Now if you use my chicken curry you'll know it's really simple. We're going to take um, two cans of chopped tomatoes but we're doubling the recipe so we're actually taking four. Four cans of chopped tomatoes go in. Your cans are good to go in the recycle. Then you're going to add your chopped spinach, okay? I always put in frozen chopped spinach. And I put it in frozen because it's going to bubble away, it's still very hot. Little cubes like this, okay? And you need 12 cubes per recipe. One, two. You also then just want to use a jar of patais curry paste. Um, so the recipe calls for half a jar, but of course we're doubling it, so we're gonna put the whole jar in. Let me bring it over and let you see. That curry took us no time at all to make. It's healthy, it's home cooked, it's a huge fan of it, and we've got some more chicken here, then we can move on and do the next game recipe. Let's have a quick tidy up for the next one. Okay guys, so we're ready to move on to our chicken enchiladas, okay? So I'm using these, just these full containers that I'm going to make mine in, and I've just labeled the top of them, telling me that it serves four, and um, oven bake it for 40 minutes. Really simple recipe. We've got our chicken that was already um, taken half out of this, so we've got our pot of curry on there, and we've got our other chicken. We are just going to add in some taco seasoning mix into this, okay? And because we're doubling the recipe, we can add double in. Now this one is quite a spicy one, so I'm actually only going to put half in. And that's a great joy of when you're doing things like this, if it's your own family. You don't have to follow the recipe if you know exactly how much you want to put in. I think half is just sufficient because I'm going to put some salsa on the top. Give it a mix around and you will see that it's basically like fajitas, okay? Just like you'd have fajitas. Now, what I want to do is just fill my pan with these, okay? So all I'm going to do is take some of the onion fajita mix, put it on my wrap, okay? I'm going to add some cheese to it and I'm going to roll it over and sit it on the tray, sort of upside down. So as you roll, turn it so that the flap is at the bottom, okay? Um, it just makes it sit easier. I've now got both of mine ready. Here's one and here's the other one, okay? And I can now put a sauce on these. If I was to put these in the freezer without a sauce, they'd dry out a bit, so you really want a sauce. So you can either make your own or you can just use a jar of sauce or you can use some tomatoes. It's entirely up to you. I like to do a sort of mix of everything. So while we've been working, we've already done our two meals. We've done our one on the hob, which is just about to come off. This is our chicken curry, which is now completely, all the spinach is defrosted and it's looking delicious. And I've just taken the chicken out of the oven, which is to go for the last recipe, okay? Really easy, let's have a quick clean up and do the last recipe. Now, if you remember the chicken that was in the oven, okay? I got it out, sat it on the side, and it's just warm now, okay? But I don't have asbestos hands. And you can either do this two ways. So you could have done the chicken in the pot, make it, made it really simple, or you can shred it. I quite like the shredded chicken. And all you want to do is take it out, let it defrost, uh, let it cool, sorry, from the oven, otherwise you're gonna burn your fingers. And um, I sort of slice it with a knife just so it's in little bits, and then pull it apart, and you're just gonna quickly shred all of this chicken. Here goes, really fast, are you ready? Go! Okay guys, so I am going to half my amount of chicken, okay? That's about half in each bowl. I've got half here, I've got half there, because it's basically, because it's not all going to fit in the bowl, 
okay so i've got my shredded chicken next i'm going to add in some broccoli this broccoli has just been um, microwaved you could boil it i've just quickly microwaved it um and i'm just going to add in half the broccoli and don't worry about how big all the chunks are because this is going to get cooked again and it's going to sit in the sauce I also add in some butter mushrooms so you can get this recipe on www.bachelorie.com Okay, this is where I start to get silly, I'm hot and sweaty, I need to brush my hair But I'm going to keep going Right, you then use cans of condensed soup for this braised chicken recipe You can use mushroom, so I've got one of mine is going to be cream of mushroom So I need two cans of this and the other one is going to be using cream of chicken you can use whatever one you want it's whatever you like and um, I just happen to have two cans of mushroom and two cans of chicken so I'm going to make one up then I'm going to high speed the other one and let you see the other one being made but this is so easy you're literally just putting everything into a bowl you're then going to get a cup one cup you're going to add one cup of mayonnaise one cup of mayonnaise goes in okay I'm just going to scrape that out. Then you want to add in your lemon juice. And again, I've still got my recipe here in front of me, so I can check. So I need two teaspoons of lemon juice. I need um, two teaspoons of curry powder. Okay, so that's one, two. I'm going to use heat ones. Um, because we love it. This is one of our favourite dishes. It feeds everybody. And all you're going to do is mix it round and you're going to bag it up in this bag. Okay guys, so I have got everything finished in one hour. So let's recap. Now, it's not as easy as the mince one, but it's still great and you will use all of these dishes. So we made, first of all, if you go back and think, we made um, our hunter's chicken. So we've got two of these ready to go. We made our mozzarella chickens, two, ready to go, family of four. We made our chicken enchiladas, two of them, ready to go in the freezer. We made our bride's chicken, two of these, ready to go. And we made our chicken curries, two of them, ready to go. Ten meals, one hour. My place looks pretty good. I've just kept putting stuff in. I've got the bin to empty. I've got the dishwasher put, to put on and a few knives and pots to wash in the sink. And I am done. Guys, I hope you have really enjoyed this. Get in touch. Let me know how you get on. Don't panic if at first it takes you slightly longer. It takes a long time to give this a go and get into doing lots of different things like this. But it's great fun. You achieve so much. One hour and it means that your midweek meals are done. If you followed the minced beef one last time and gave it a go, let me know how you got on and fish one coming next.